University, uh, Dr. Proxy, Dr. Haas, Dr. Lemire, and uh, Mr. Macon for selecting me for uh, being an outstanding graduate. And I really appreciate that, although I did not see that coming. Um, let me take you back a little bit. In 1984, when I graduated high school, in fact, I was still in high school at the time, my father worked for Caterpillar Tractor Company, and they were in the midst of a giant strike, and it lasted for months and months and months. And I saw no way for my folks to help me through getting my education. So I joined the National Guard, uh, and it was all that they promised it would be. They paid all the tuition and had all the benefits. It was a, it was a good thing. It was a very good move. Um, however, uh, you know, those of you that think you don't move around in the National Guard, well, you, you do, potentially, and I, and I did. I moved further south and eventually wound up in New Orleans. But the bottom line was that I, too, had uh, a, a transcript record that looked like criminal history with several universities, and, you know, they, they like to not accept credits from other universities. Anyway, I go off on a tangent. But uh, life got in the way. In fact, um, I got to the point where I was a senior in college and saw the light at the end of the tunnel and said, I can slow down a little bit. I can take a break. I see it. The end's right there. It's not a big deal. And I was a senior in college for 15 years. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, Desert Storm got in the way. Uh, we had this little thing down in New Orleans called Katrina. Maybe you've heard of it. That got in the way for months and months and months. In fact, it still affects uh, many people down there. But uh, Desert Storm, uh, Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom, there was no list of excuses as to why it was impossible for me to go back and finish that degree. I would just remain a senior, and I used every single one of the excuses that I could come up with. Family, marriage, building a house, you name it. I used it. And then the bottom line was I was not a college graduate with 26 years of service, and I joined the military to get a degree, and I didn't do it. Uh, so uh, three years ago, I'm staring retirement in the face, uh, and I still have these unused benefits. And around that same time, I uh, became the state command chief for the Louisiana National Guard, which meant I would go around the units, and I would talk to airmen and soldiers, and I would say, hey, don't be a dummy. There's all kinds of education benefits out there. Uh, you should use those things. How, how bad would you feel if you left that money sitting on the table and you get out of the service and the whole time? That's exactly what I was doing. Uh, so three years ago, I said, that's it. Forget the excuses. I still have the family, and I still have the wife, and I still have hurricane duty every year. That's a gift that keeps on giving is hurricane season uh, down in New Orleans. But I still had the excuses, but this time I said, you know what, that's it. I'm, I'm going to finish. And so with the help, a tremendous help of Grantham University, uh, I did. I finished my bachelor's and once again said, whew, I see the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm going to take a break. And thankfully the admissions reps at Grantham said, we'll have none of that. You will get in a master's program. And so I am within two classes of finishing my master's as of right now, uh, MBA in project management. And I'm so glad, I am so glad that I can now stand up with a little bit more integrity in front of those airmen and soldiers and say, an excuse is an excuse, and if you choose to give into it, that's on you. But do not tell me that there is no way for you to go get your education, because that's just flat out not true. So, I really appreciate the opportunities that Grant has given me. I really appreciate the form that the EPC has provided, uh, and I am proud to say I'm an outstanding graduate of Grant University. Thank you. Eight, eight weeks. And some other schools were like five weeks or six weeks. And I think for me to really learn what I was studying, uh, I think eight weeks allowed me a chance to, uh, to really understand and comprehend what I was studying. The one thing that stands out about Grantham to me is, is the staff, really, because they are so supportive. And uh, being an online school, you really need that support. And I mean, I would get phone calls out of the blue how are you doing? As a matter of fact, I got a phone call before a holiday, and it really caught me off guard. Uh, Amanda called me, and she said, I just want to wish you a, a happy Labor Day, and just want to make sure your courses were going okay. And I was like, wow, I said, great, thanks. And uh, that helped me to get through the weekend, because I did have an assignment that was due on Tuesday, so I really appreciate the staff calling. <laughs>
advice would, would be to take the online uh, route, uh, especially if you're active duty. Because uh, if you should PCS to another location, you can take Grantham with you and uh, complete your program. If you want a degree that's quality, you want a degree that you work for, not a degree that's given to you. And if you want to feel like you earned a degree, then I would recommend Grantham University. Master of Business Administration, Project Management, with distinction. I've gone to brick and mortar universities, and I told the faculty these courses were by far the most challenging courses I had. And with that, I think it's, it means it's a quality, quality university. What can I say about Grantham? Well, first of all, I guess if I were ever to start a school, it would be exactly like Grantham. And that really is a big compliment within itself. The reason why I chose Grantham is because of their flexibility um, and their commitment to helping you further yourself and your education. That way you could better serve your country. Summa cum laude. I am active military in the Navy and uh, my job is very arduous. I'm constantly on the road because I fly for the military. It's continuous duty on the road, uh, seeing many different places, and uh, a traditional school just isn't the answer for that uh, type of career. Uh, Grantham has allowed me to further my education uh, and uh, still being able to do my job in the military as well. I knew that it wouldn't really sink in that I graduated until today when I was actually able to walk across the stage. Jane Ritzinger, Associate of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. And again, it's just, it's one of those things where it is so meaningful to me because Again, I'm the first person in my family, my entire family, to get a college education, a college degree. It's very exciting. I have been with Ransom for 13 years, earned four degrees. I relocated five times, five times across the country and overseas. I've done, I have done three sea tours and two shore tours in that time, and I've stayed with one university, something the traditional student would be hard-pressed to accomplish. Though we did our courses online, we did not do them alone. We had success teams with us to ask, answer questions, encourage us, and motivate us to the destination. For the times we asked for help, and even the times we didn't, your support was instrumental in our success. I chose Grantham University because they offered a degree that challenged me. I saw the courses were in depth, they were relevant, they provided me the ability to not only think I was going to earn a degree, but I was going to receive an education that I could apply it in, in, to my everyday job. Lieutenant Junior Grade Christopher Martin, Master of Science, Information Management, Project Management. With the advice I would give to any, anybody who's looking to go to Grantham is be prepared to learn. You have to apply yourself. You will be challenged. The courses are relevant, and you will have to sit down and get it done. However, you will have support, not only from your uh, progress advisor or your mission rep, the professor is there for you. The other students will be in the same class you're in. Reach out and Motivated talk. me to return to school and earn my degree was mama. my mom's voice in the back of my head always telling me, get your education, get your education, get your education. Whatever you do, get your education. And so she always emphasized that to her children and, and that was something I really wanted to accomplish. Sergeant First Class Elisa Solis. Bachelor of Science, Business Administration. I chose Grantham University because I was t a lot of my uh, soldiers and people I had worked with, uh, they first introduced me to Grantham years back and they said, you know, you really need to try this online thing. It's really worked for me. It's an easy way to get your, but not easy, but it's, it, it's very, it will work with your schedule, in other words, and you can take whatever classes you can at a time and pace yourself. So I said, let me try it, let me look at it online. And I went online, checked out the programs, and they pretty much worked for me, the scheduling and the way it was set up. So I said, you know what, I'm going to try it. I can, what can I lose by trying? So I signed up, called the, uh, an admissions um, representative, and he pretty much guided me through it and told me what, what I needed to do. And it just seemed so simple. And then I realized, you know what, I can really make this work for me because it's just, it works with my schedule, I can find the time, and here I am, stuck through it, kept going, and 
finally completed this phase. Was the guy that tried to go to a four-year university and walked away with nothing, tried to go to work and worked without a degree until I hit the glass ceiling. Tried to go back to several uh, university options and none of them fit what I needed and the fact that I already had a life, already had a family and still needed to make an income while I was going to school. And then Grantham came along and it allowed me to have everything that was in place and that was fixed and immovable and still fit an education in around it. Summa cum laude. I am thankful uh, to Grantham. I'm thankful that it exists. If Grantham didn't exist, I would not have a degree today. I'd be in the same situation I was in three years ago before I came to the university. Not all students are four-year brick-and-mortar students, and life creeps up in a lot of different ways. There needs to be options for the people that don't get it perfectly right the first time when they're 18 years old. And Grantham was the second chance I needed.